We've got your back tonight because fall brings those cool nights. But before you light that first fire of the season, it's a good idea to have a chimney sweep. Just make sure that your fireplace is safe. It is a booming business that needs to be done right, too. News Ace Tina Detel has your back tonight with what checks should be done and how to make sure you're working with a pro and not a scammer. As the weather is starting to get chillier, business is heating up for these guys. After we sweep the top to the bottom, most of the debris will settle on what's called the smoke chamber in back of the damper. Before the first fire is lit, many are making sure their chimneys are clean and safe. You want to make sure that you remove the creosote that's built up from burning your wood. Brent Stewart says you can always take a look for yourself. It's going to be black, but what you want to make sure you don't have is like a tar looking substance. But you may want to leave the chimney sweeping to these guys. I always suggest you hire local because local people have a local reputation. His company, Heritage Chimney, serves New London County. He says you should always check out anyone you use, especially if they approach you. Some telesolicit, calling and saying, this is your chimney company, checking in. Because I have customers that call me and say, was that you that called? I was like, no, it wasn't. So the misrepresentation of calling, maybe, um, is something to look out for. Stewart suggests folks put a cap on the top of their chimney to keep water out and waterproof the brick, which is porous. As for wood, it's best to burn seasoned dry oak or ash. Using hardwoods definitely helps um, the deposits that are in your chimney, the quality of them, and burns better and emits better heat. If you're wondering how often you should have your chimney cleaned, well, Stewart says a good rule of thumb is every three to five cords of wood that you burn. Now, that depends on the size of your fireplace or wood stove. In North Stonington, Tina Detell, News 8.